Hey guys, it's me again, and welcome to Priska, the real-time strategy game. And you're kind of in like the ancient, um, ancient world. So there's like dinosaurs and stuff, the prehistoric world. Anyway, this app is still in early stages, stages of development. Yep, got it, got it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and choose this guy. Um, I'll name him YJG as always. And let's start. Okay, I have played just until the base building part, so I know the basic mechanics. Okay, so first things first, we got to save our tribesmen. There's our first dinosaur over there, or whatever it is. Let me check my mission. Kill crocodiles. Okay, it's a crocodile that's on land, apparently. Hello, hello. Now the best part is once we get more people, I think we can select um, more people to fight one, like in a real time strategy game. Wait, let's try to kite him. I thought that wow, this game's pretty well made. I might as well <laughs> not. I might as well uh, make a video out of it. Ooh, that's a big alligator. I, I think it's about the same size. Okay, no, 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 no. Yes. Kite him. Smack. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can kill him. Also, can I do anything about these dead tribes people here? Like, can I loot their bodies? This guy's got a pretty nice looking pitchfork. Anyway, first things first, we gotta build up our base. And kablam, our base is built. Um, <laughs> this as far as I've gotten, I killed this... So I don't know what's next, um, but according to our mission, we should be killing four alligators, right? Our health's a little bit low, but I'm pretty sure we can kill this alligator just fine. No problem. Okay, we killed all... Oh, there we go. Hero experience gain plus 30 and I got a ruby. Oh, wait, that was it? Okay. Oh, I thought we actually get to build bases. Um, harvest 50 wood, harvest 50 stone, capture a resource building, and plunder a resource building. Okay. Oh, man. I thought we actually get to build the base. Well, that's a darn shame. Is this the resource building I'm supposed to plunder? For something called a resource building, this is awfully small. Like my, my character's as tall as whatever the hell that is supposed to be. Whatever, let's move on. Shiny. Oh, by the way, this is a pineapple tree that heals you if you eat it. Uh, but I'm full health, so I'm probably... So I'm not gonna eat it. It'd be a waste of resources. I, I now have a resource building. What now? What now? Oh, it slowly generates um, resources. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. But what's this? What am I doing here? Why, why do I have to do that again? Oh, okay, I'm kind of confused. Man, I thought this would be like a base building game. Oh god, what the hell is that? Eewee. Oh, never mind, never mind. I already beat the game. Damn, I'm kind of bummed because I thought this would be like a base building real-time strategy game. Kind of like um, Red Alert, if you know that. Red Alert, but in prehistoric times. I was looking forward to it. Oh well. I'm supposed to kill the Megaceros. Whatever the Megaceros is. Okay. Ooh. Oh, can we actually build stuff now? Okay, so is this actually like the tutorial and I'm just supposed to play through this? Okay, okay. What can I do? Barracks and arena. Um, okay, we have enough for the barracks. Or should we save for the arena? Like, what do they do? That's my question. Obviously, if I build the barracks, I can train people. And I always want that. Oh, the peasant takes six food and three, three wood. Okay, okay, so this is a base building game. 
and this I'm, I'm technically still in the tutorial I might just speed through this so you don't have to watch Ooh, a mega Seros is a moose I see I see can I win let's kite him oh damn this is actually a really close fight I nearly lost there oh no oh god uh, it's okay now we can build some peasants plenty of peasants plenty of peasants and let's tr get an arena <sighs> let's heal our hero up because he's super low health okay that's not a full heal damn i thought that would be a full heal oh wait oh no i should have trained ah i should have trained warriors and shamans in the arena okay at least now we know we can do that we have peasant a peasant b we got a nice variety of peasants here um three buff males and two three sorry two buff males and three buff females so i'm gonna just select the peasants and you guys stand in front of me <laughs> obviously whoops what, what's wrong what's wrong okay turn off the select then let's all move forward our goal is to hunt another one of those moose or, or, or the wolves kill the wolf kill the wolf peasants go oh this is so much easier then we can train warriors and shamans which obviously are the better warriors right or the better fighters can we go through the water because I've killed one Mega Seros, and I'm supposed to eliminate an enemy base. But I don't know where the enemy base is. Where is the enemy base, my dude? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is the enemy base? Is that a land bridge? Did I just not see that? Am I blind? It is a land bridge. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get let's get through. I got two shamans and a bunch of warriors. There's no way we can lose. Easy, easy. Wait, that's not an enemy base. The fudge. Then is it this one? Oh no, that's giant deer. But it's all right. We got plenty of plenty of uh, warriors this time. Snow Leopard, kill it. Oh, is that an enemy? Oh. It's okay. First time fighting humans. Okay, so this means that the enemy base must be this way, right? They had to be, had to have been guarding something important. Like a base, for example. Oh, God. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's a lot of them. It's okay, it's okay. They, they got a tower. Um, uh, how, how do I select just you? Go attack this guy. Shoot. Archers. Shoot, shoot, archers. Shoot. Wait, wait, wait. Retreat, retreat, retreat. I don't think we can win. Oh, no. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Peasant. No, 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 no. Go back. Plunder. No, 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 you, you go back home. Then I select you, peasant. Distract them, peasant. Peasant. Your life shall be a worthy sacrifice. I'm sorry. Okay, we can actually use this peasant. Uh, it's, a, it's a her. We can use her. Oh no, there's a shaman. We can use her to scout out the enemy base. All right, uh, yeah, so the enemies aren't exactly weak. They still have like four people over there, I think. Yeah, this guy on the tower and the three people there defending the base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go plunder this for some resources. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and make pathfinders and a bunch of warriors. The warriors will obviously be in front and the pathfinders will shoot from the back. Oh, okay. So I need peasants to train 
to be to to train in the arena that's why so i had to send my peasant in you go here okay well this gives me a crap ton more resources i should have known okay summon more peasants and then let's have warrior we got a ginormous army this time there is absolutely no way we can lose kill the snow leopard goes the person okay let's kill the base while those three people are distracted over there in a corner oh no 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 they're turning around kill them kill them and there goes the base capture three villages and kill a mammoth all right so now we have a boss monster the mammoth well i assume he's a boss monster if it is a boss monster i'm not particularly sure what i'm fighting here but i can try to take a look it looks like some sort of hairy sloth thing well whatever it is it's dead so let's go plunder its home let's do the smart thing and plunder it for meat and leather first then we build the resource unit on top what the hell is that it's just giving me more wood and stones which i don't need what the hell is that? It's in this mountain? It's here. What the hell? What? Oh, it's a snow leopard and it's kind of stuck there. Sad life, bro. You're now just free meat. Oh, I want to capture that resource point, but there's something guarding it. Let's see if I can, like, sneak, sneak plunder it. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, I'm not even sure I can kill you right now. I'm pretty low on health, my dude. Well, let's see, let's see. Come on. Yes! Ah, oh, that was so close. Whatever that hairy sloth monster was, that was way too close. And let's heal our hero up over here. Get him over there to the heal berries, heal tree. There's another resource point here, a heal berry. And I'm assuming this giant health bar is the mammoth. I'm not too keen on fighting the mammoth just yet. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, it's one of those prehistoric armadillo things. Yes, thank you for showing up. But I don't know why you attacked me. I didn't do anything to you. You're just free meat for me. Capture this resource point because we'll be needing a lot of warriors to fight a mammoth. If I've learned anything from prehistoric documents, it's that... A mammoth is the pinnacle of prey items. If you can kill a mammoth, you're basically set for a long, long, long time. But you'd need a huge party of people just to kill a mammoth. Or some very good throwing spears and the optimal terrain. Okay, I'd say this is a pretty decent army. So, we got like two of each advanced class. Plus the hero, I'm pretty sure we can take on the enemy, uh, Mammoth. We can actually get to this resource point before we take the Mammoth, which I think I'll do. I think I'll do that. I want to have as much p trained people or advanced class people with me when I fight the Mammoth. Because you, know, you can never be too sure about these things. Alright. We got a very sizable army here. We got four warriors, two shamans, and two pathfinders. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be more than enough to kill mammoth. What? That was a mammoth? That was just you? I spent all that effort killing- Ah, this is definitely where the mammoth is. Ooh, random turtle thing, kill it. Easy. Easy, it's leaving.
leading me down somewhere, so it's definitely the mammoth. Yeah, kill it, kill it, kill it, charge! I do have to say, like, this is a great game, but it's a little not. It, it lacks a little bit of intensity, because everything just kind of waits for you to go to them. They don't actively search and fight you, which is usually the pressure or the fun part of an real-time strategy is that you got a limited amount of resources, a limited amount of time before someone goes to you and destroys your base. And it's your job to defend it, right? Kill it. It's just one enemy rider. There's no way we can lose. Can we get the horse? We can get the horse! Oh my god, this game just turned so much better. That's amazing. Uh, capture it. We're supposed to capture the stable. Can we train horses now? Can we have a cavalry? That'd be amazing. I'll build a forge first because it's rather cheap. Okay, what does the stable do? Oh, it just pops out horses like out of nowhere. I don't understand how the forge works. Let's go ahead and build another one because we got plenty of uh, resources for that anyway. Um, we can choose to build clubs, arrows, crossbows, daggers, naginatas, helmets. That's a lot of stuff, but once again, I don't know how that works. Does, does it only apply to my hero? Is that how this works? Oh no, I accidentally popped the healing. Gosh darn it. Can I get it? So this time, let's go ahead and train like, what, five peasants? Five peasants, and let's set up five warriors. Cannot afford any more, any more warriors. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. And now, can you pick up the nice looking armor? Yes, you can. Oh my god, you're amazing. Pick up the nice looking. Oh, ho, 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 ho. all right, all right. Now, this is what I call a warrior. Look at. Uh, wait, I don't know your gender. I don't want to assume. Look at her. She's amazing. Look at that armor and that sword. Once again, this game is surprisingly in depth for something that's. I, I didn't think it would be this in-depth. More warriors, please. Three warriors, yes. Let's test out my army on a, let's say, unsuspecting snow leopard. Go. Go, army, go. How strong are you now? Oh my god, you guys are still pretty weak. Come on. Don't be ridiculous. That's just a snow leopard. Are the horses like cluttering up? Is that a th is that a thing? <sighs> okay, fine. We'll use horses only for transportation. Okay, for our pathfinders, let's do some bows, and then obviously we already have ar we already have armor, so let's go with helmets, right? Um. Yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and build one pathfinder. Let's wait. We can wait a bit for us to gather some meat. I'm actually not completely sure if it's worth it to actually build a army of this size with better equipment, or if it's just better to just have more people. The wolf is attacking the enemy. Okay, that's something I have not seen in a long, long time, like since Warcraft. Um, that passive mobs would fight enemy AI. And I really like that about a game. That just, like, if there's more than one faction, I love it. Because it just gives so much more strategy to the game. You could, like, you could use the enemies to fight the, your enemies. 
nowadays games focus on like oh you fight your enemies with your own strength i don't like that kind of stuff i like having ai to kind of support me in battle it makes for a much much more fun gaming experience you know plus it it also makes sense since have ai support you you just have to nerf your main character a little bit you don't need to have a main character that can tank a hundred shots while the while your friend the ai dies in one that makes no sense oh oh my god a lot more of them than I thought there would be. Okay, kill the wolf first. I think I I think that's the way in. Okay, gosh, I thought my army was enough. I was searching around. I was like, where are the enemy village? I want to kill them. Holy cow, that's a lot of enemies, my dude. So I'm gonna have to train a lot. A lot more warriors okay so just to test it out my normal warrior has 140 health 4.2 attack and 21 defense putting on the armor he how he now has 51 defense put on the helmet 69 defense put on the sword 7.7 .7 damage okay that is crazy good Good, good, good. I might not have the most in numbers of warriors compared to my enemies. But I obviously have some of the best soldiers around. Okay. From what I can see on my screen, there's about 20 enemies. I didn't count. I don't care to count. And I have... Um, 17 warriors i feel like with my superior equipment this will be just fine so obviously my archers at the back my warriors at the front charge actually should i separate this into different groups so that we don't just all cluster fuck attack 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 the enemies Oh my god, archers, what are you doing? Fall back, stop charging into the front lines. Oh, this one guy's taking a hell out of beating. Oh, but my 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 men are like slaughtering theirs. This one dude fall back. Oh fudge. Whoops. It's okay. Your sacrifice will be will never be forgotten. Take out this tower. Take out this tower. No, no, no. Keep pushing forward. Kill this guy first, then push forward. We have to kill all the enemies first before we before we take out their uh, base. Okay, that, that was actually pretty fun. Pretty fun, not gonna lie. And there's still so much other armors and weapons I haven't tried. There's like a crossbow, a staff, like, what does those do? Because the Pathfinders, they don't shoot arrows unless they're given a bow. Which is, I guess, makes sense, yeah. Alright, um, I'm gonna stop there. Um, obviously, there's so much more levels to explore. Like, I'm only two, three, on the third region, and there's like so many other regions out here. Anyway, if you enjoyed the game, as always, link in the description below. You can try it out for yourself, and till next time.